My intentions now is, is to, to continue to learn, continue to move up. Um, I hope to start competing, um, getting into into that arena, but really just, just to learn. I, I find it fascinating all the different combinations and styles that you can attack and counterattack um, while you're sparring. And I, I only know a very small portion of it uh, and, and I, I just want to grow. I want to learn more um, and know how, what's the right moves to make at the right times. Great Grappling is uh, an excellent school. I've, I've been in martial arts uh, for, for years and it's, it has a really good family, um, family feel and an, an excellent teacher. He, I've never met someone that can instruct you on um, just where to move your finger and everything will go right. Uh, I, hope, I hope Great Grappling doesn't lose that. I, I think it should grow. I think uh, a lot of people can, can uh, benefit from uh, professors training and, and even people like uh, Piper and uh, Nelson. I think we can, we can learn a lot. So I hope the school grows, but I still hope it stays the same with the amount of uh, detailed and training and the, just the pure family feel and brotherhood that we have here. Uh, my goal now is eventually I want to be good enough to earn my black belt under Jeremy and you know maybe someday even have my own great grappling somewhere other than here, I know. But I mean, you know, just to um, yeah, eventually, eventually earn my black belt, be good enough to wear one and um, be an instructor. Um, I'd like to see Jeremy wind up taking this to having multiple schools all over the country. I mean, if, if he can train instructors to be his type of instructor, I think that would be something that'd be good for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in general. Yeah, so when I started it was mostly about fitness. It was mostly about getting those pounds off and um, now it's, it's looking more toward competition, uh, more toward, you know, what, you know, I, I competed last time at New Breed and, and won my division, so now it's, you know, what, do I step up a division? Uh, I didn't do very well in the Gi, can I learn more techniques in the Gi to do better there as well? Uh, so it's, it's always about the next challenge. So for the future of the academy, you know, I hope that they continue to get people in here, uh, continue to grow. I, I know this is the second building they've been in and they probably are getting enough members that they're going to be looking toward a third uh, and that they continue to compete at a high level and uh, win the regional tournaments and you know, just keep getting great grapplers in here so that I have lots of people to kick my ass. I don't think that they've changed too much. Um, I think when I started, I was more in line with just wanting to do some sort of martial arts, again, with the health and the weight loss. Um, I want to continue doing it for that, um, but rather than continue with other mixed martial arts or, or other forms of, of martial arts, I want to stick with jiu-jitsu. Um, I enjoy the sport. I enjoy what it has to offer. Um, it's the gentle sport, uh, and, and that's one of the things I love about it. Um, there's not really too much gentle about it, uh, but you know I, I really enjoy coming out night after night uh, when I can, um, and just kind of giving it all, uh, giving it my all. I want to see Jeremy, and I want to see great grappling, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I, I want to see it explode. Um, I mean, we, we've we've come such a long way in, in the time that I've been here, in the short time that I've been here. Um, I know Jeremy pours his heart and soul uh, into the school. Um, it, you see it on a day-to-day -day basis with the amount of time and the, the attention that he gives the students. Um, I think this school has the potential of, of becoming one of the biggest names in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu um, around the country and I'd love to see that happen and I'd love to be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, so now that I'm, um, you know, I've got some experience with the art, I'm, I'm moving towards um, 
being a more well-rounded grappler and, and, and learning um, the intricacies of the art. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a journey. It's, uh, you know, it's a marathon instead of a sprint. So um, just looking at it long term at this point, it's something I think I'll do for the rest of my life. The environment here is fantastic, so I, I'd love to see it continue to grow and you know, to continue to get new people, um, continue to see my friends and, and training partners get better. Um, fantastic environment. I think initially when I first started, it was it was not knowing that there are people in the United States, but in Brazil, people who are in their 60s and 70s and 80s who are still doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I think initially it was kind of like not so much short term, but I was going to to participate as long as I could and kind of giving myself, well, you know, there's probably going to come a point where I'm not going to want to do it anymore or can't do it anymore. And now I'm just very open-minded as far as that I will continue to do this as long as I physically can, as long as I can get myself here and get myself on the mat. And I, I think it's the type of sport that even as you get older um, and let's say you're not, you don't have that, you know, that strength and, and, and drive and aerobic ability to stay uh, at a certain at a certain pace in class you can still participate in the class you can still learn you can still roll you can still do the techniques and I think the great thing about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu too is that the people that you work with understand who they're working with so there's you know if, if somebody isn't in great shape or someone isn't is kind of not really strong or in shape the partner works with them and kind of stays at their level so there's there's this cooperation with the other students in the class and I, I since I see that you know every class you know my feeling is as long as I can you know, continue to to get myself on the mat and 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 function that I'll I'll be here participating in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu I just I'm excited and you know I, I was excited when you know from the first school moving in here to, to the to the uh, to the second location and and as the school grows it's just there's a, there's an energy when you have more students in the school and more students in the class. It, there's kind of this camaraderie and and positive energy. Everybody's learning. Everybody's having fun. And and uh, it's it, as as that as the school grows, that will grow too. And you'll and you'll be able to have more students not only to practice your techniques with, but also be able to roll with and 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 use the, what you learn in class to further develop your skills in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. When I first started, I would have, uh, as Jeremy says, I would have pushed my mom down a flight of stairs for a blue belt. So uh, I guess with that goal being reached, uh, now I mean I would really love to progress uninjured or injury free and eventually see the rank of a black belt because Unless you're a stud, I guess, or you're really training at this, or you're really just a natural at it, um, it's going to take someone of, 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 I guess, my age and, and my ability probably 11 to 15 years, if not more, to achieve the rank of, back, of a black belt. So that would be a huge accomplishment, not only in jiu-jitsu, but in life in general. Uh, I want to see it get huge. Uh, Jeremy's taking it from a small school as it was, where a big class on a Monday night would be maybe 10 people to now on a Monday night we're, we're packing in with 30 and uh, not only with just white belts but uh, with blues and purples and browns so the uh, the, the student uh, I guess uh, the belts are, are, are more whereas when we first started a blue belt was like wow now so the blue belts there's there's two sometimes three rows of blue belts well, you know, to be honest, my intentions have not changed that much. I just want my game to keep getting better. Uh, I've got different aspects of my game that I want to work on. Uh, you know, I really want to work on my top game because my bottom game is my, definitely my stronger game. But, uh, of course, everybody's finding ways around that now. So, again, constantly changing. But uh, I guess now my goal, now that I'm a blue belt, I really want to work at getting ready for the blue belt level of tournament. Uh, you know, every time you get a new belt, the water just gets deeper. So I, that, I guess that's really where I am right now. I just want to continue developing my game. As far as the belts and and podiums or whatever, uh, those will come when they when they need to get here. I'm I'm not chasing anything as far as that's concerned. I just want my game to improve and and my tournament level to improve. It, what's happening right now? I want to see it keep happening, and I want to see it happen tenfold. I, I love to see new people in here. 
um, uh, new faces. Uh, I want to continue to see the school grow. Uh, I think what Great Grappling is doing, I think what, what Professor uh, Arell is doing is um, is remarkable. I've trained at other schools before. As a teacher myself, I, I really like the way he sets up curriculum. He, he creates a setting where people can start brand new and feel comfortable and, and in a safe environment kind of work their way into jujitsu. Uh, I think it's really unique what we offer here. Um, I definitely will never go anywhere else and I hope that the Carolina area can see really what Great Grappling has to offer and we just keep growing as a school. I guess when I started, it was just to get better. Uh, now it's to not only get better, but to also be the best at specific things. But not only that, I, I also want to instruct and hopefully someday own my own school. So it's really had a uh, deep impression on me and, and what I want to do in my future. I hope Great Grappling just gets bigger, gets larger, more people see it, more people come to it, and, and more people get to enjoy it. I, I think it's, uh, a great place for people to go and meet a lot of great people. I think it's the, the people that make this place great. So the more people that come here, just the, the greater it would be. Uh, when I first started, you know, like I said, it was all about MMA and uh, you know, I was all about b being the next UFC champion, that kind of thing. Uh, obviously, I'm beyond those years now. Um, at, at this point, I just want to keep doing BJJ for the rest of my life. You know, I, at, at some point in my future, you know, I want to come home from training and, and set down my black belt on my floor and look at all the stripes that I've earned over the years and, and you know, just be ready to come back and train again the next day. I'd love to see this, this school continue to grow. You know, it's, it's not just a school, it's, it's a team, it's a family. Uh, it's a great atmosphere here and I'd just love to see that keep growing and keep building and, and you know, just get as big as it could possibly get. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to make that my lifestyle. I'm hoping to make that my career. I'm hoping to make that the center point of everything that I do with my life. I feel like it's the one thing that I've done for years on end that the more that I do it, the more I love it. You know, it's, I've been training since, since I was 17 and I love it more now than I did then. You know, when I have a good day of training, when I've been training hard for two months straight, I'm not sick of it. You know, I'm more into it. And I'd love to do that for the rest of my life. Th those are my intentions. I wanna eventually, you know, I'd like to be known as, as, a, as a tough competitor. You know, I'd like to have good competitions at Purple Belt, at Brown Belt. And if, if I can, I'd like to compete, you know, as high as I can at Black Belt. Um, but I, I think long term, <sighs> competition is not really want to go. I want to I wanna teach. I want to own my own gym one day. I, I'd, like, I'd like for this to be, you know, on the mat is where I stay. Man, there's so many things I hope for this place. This place has been, at times, you know, my, my, my house. This has been my shelter. This is, this is where I stay. And I am hoping for it to continue to grow. And I don't really hope for it because I, I know it's going to happen. So it's not really like, uh, like, like, oh, one day I, I hope this is just, you know, I wish for the best. No, it's, I, I see things getting better. I see things getting stronger. And, um, I, you know, I... I'm waiting for, for the new build, you know, waiting to move into a new building. We'll have different classes. You know, I'm hoping one day we go towards a, a gym that, that will have like a fundamentals class and then like the, the advanced class and we'll have like a, like a wrestling class and a judo class. We'll have several different teachers and people coming in from all over the world to come train there for, for weeks at a time. Um, you know, that's, that's what I'm hoping for and I don't think that that's impossible. In fact, I, I think it's highly probable for something like that to, to happen. I think what, how my goals have changed with jiu-jitsu would be that I, I definitely don't take it for granted at all. Um, when you're younger, it's easier to do that. Um, as you get older, it definitely gets tougher, but it makes you become way more efficient on the mat. And I think that's what I try to do now is, you know, you can't waste energy or, or time. You have to make sure you're nailing your, your techniques that you want to perfect a little more than you would have maybe when you could get away with being younger, stronger, and faster. Um, I also think the longer you do it, the more you just appreciate it. I feel like early on it was far more important for me to advance. And advancing in belt and rank is still important, but I think as you get older it becomes a little less important. As far as hoping for Great Grappling's future, I don't, I don't know that I would say I have to hope for it. I think its future is, is 
very bright and I think you've seen growth in such a short amount of time. Um, we've got such a large school with um, really a broad group of beginners that started here as white belts that are going to be working up the ranks. But I think you've seen a lot of kind of advanced practitioners migrate here from other schools because they, they see something special happening. And I think that something special is obviously we've got a, a great teacher in Black Belt and Professor Jeremy, but I also think it's just a really good group of training partners. You know, when you have more advanced grapplers being drawn to the school, it also kind of gives different experiences and different styles that people can learn from. Oh gosh. Well, along the way, um, I had the opportunity to be an instructor for a few years and, and uh, Jeremy's provided that opportunity for me again. And, and uh, it gives me a chance to give back um, a lot of the experiences and lessons that I've learned while on my, you know, path as a martial artist. Um, that's very fulfilling, so it's my intention to continue to do that as long as I can uh, to help those um, weaker than me um, and provide them with confidence and, and uh, to see the look on their face when they learn to move. Um, that's really cool. Well, it looks like it's going right along the path that it, that it should be going. It's growing organically. I think um, we're clipping off, what, five, ten new members a month? I mean, you go out a few more years, that's a pretty big school. Uh, the instruction is great. Uh, nobody beats the crap out of you. Um, <laughs> and uh, your training partners are awesome. There's lots of them, lots of depth. I think we're right on the right path and should just keep doing what we're doing. When you start jiu-jitsu, your goal tends to be, if I can just get to blue belt, I'll be good. Well, now that I'm a purple belt, my goal is clearly to, to reach my black belt and reach my black belt under Jeremy. And that is my goal. That is, that is what I would strive to become and just to continue learning, continue getting better. It's a sport that I think is great for everybody. And I just, I really, that is my goal to become a black belt. I have every confidence that this school is going to grow, that we are going to continue to have a great group of students and that we will continue to grow and expand and maybe get a bigger facility and more students and lots of people on the mats. That, that is what I definitely foresee in the future of our great grappling. When I started, it was just for a hobby, just to stay in shape. Now it's something that I see as, as a lifestyle, like I want to, that's what I want to do forever, you know, I want to maintain. Jiu-Jitsu is, is part of who I am now and what I do. So I, could, I don't see myself not doing it. So what I, what I want for it is to be able to live the BJJ lifestyle and be able to do BJJ all day and all night, in the mornings and at night. Great grappling, um, the way Professor Arell has set it up, he's setting up the students for success. So in doing that, I think that you're going to see a lot of guys grow and, and get well known out there and, and possibly do their own thing and be able to be affiliates of Great Grappling and, and the family get bigger and bigger. Um, as far as thank yous, uh, thank you Jeremy for giving me the opportunity to train here in, at, at your school. Um, thank you to all my training partners. Um, and a big thank you to Fred Jennings, who's, um, again, one of my best friends and introduced me to the sport. Um, and I wouldn't be where I am with, uh, without, without his support. Um, so thank you. Yeah, I you know, obviously I'd like to thank Jeremy for everything he's done for, for me and for the school, uh, everything he's taught me. Uh, I'd also like to thank everybody else that I've ever rolled with, you know, everybody at this school, everybody I've rolled with in the past. You know, every one of you is, is a part of who I am, and, and I appreciate all of that. Just that Jeremy does a great job. Uh, just the structure, the way he works with everyone, and uh, so it's it's really good. If if you ha are remotely interested, and even if you're not, try it. It's a one week free trial. The worst thing you can do is come in here and get sore and never come back again. You're going to do that anyway in some other avenue or something else in your life. So why not come here and try it? Obviously, I'd like to thank Professor Jeremy. Uh, he's definitely helped my jiu-jitsu game uh, grow since I've been here. Um, and always I thank all of my training partners really from the beginning to today. You know, without good training partners, you're never going to evolve as a grappler. But I think number one is my family for letting me have time to do this. Uh, and 
my uh, uh, the brothers on the mat uh, they're patient um, they don't they don't rip my head off uh, and uh, they, they every time I go out there I learn something new and they're always helping me and teaching me so uh, I appreciate everything that everyone's done I always have to thank my wife. She's always supportive of, of my uh, endeavors, and she's certainly been supportive here, and she's actually training now, too, so she's got the bug as well. What do you want to give a shout-out to? Oh, well, of course, Jeremy. You know, Jeremy has really helped me as far as, as uh, teaching me how to be better at jiu-jitsu, teaching me how to be a better teacher in jiu-jitsu, teaching me how to be a better training partner in jiu-jitsu, um, how to deal with, with the stress of injuries, and it just all around everything in, in my game, I just feel like a completely different person than when I, when I first came here. And that's, you know, all, all the credit goes to Jeremy for that. And um, John Piper, he's helped me incredibly as well. He's turning into a, a really good friend. I, I like hanging out with him a lot. And um, it's fun when, when we roll because we know each other's games. We know exactly what the other guy's trying to do. But in that sense, uh, with him, we're really trying to tighten up the screws. So, like, I, I know exactly what he's going for, and I just got to find, like, wait, do I move this extra little centimeter? How much of a difference is that going to make? If I put my hand here instead of there, how much of a difference is that going to make? So he really helps me with my game, and I, and I feel like I help him with his. Um, Aaron, we always have good roles. He was one of the first guys that I came in, and we really pushed each other. It's always difficult when you have a guy that's around the same, same level as you. I feel like sometimes those are the hardest roles because if you're rolling someone with that's that's really better than you, uh, a lot of times you just can't you can't fight you can't really struggle for something because you know you're just going to lose it so you let go. But if you have someone that's the same level, man, you don't want to give up those positions. You really don't. You struggle to keep where you're going. You really don't want them to go and, and, and get that sweep and, and get that that pass. So uh, him and I, we've had some of the mo most grueling roles that I've ever had. Um, Andy, Andy's been an amazing guy to roll with. Uh, Cake as well, uh, Fred, Bill, all those guys, they're awesome, awesome. Jonathan, good guys. Sure, uh, yeah, uh, first has gotta be my wife and kids for <laughs> letting me get out of the house and, and have the time to myself uh, to come. Uh, and then, you know, Jim McCann got me started. He was my grappling coach. Uh, up in Philly, and then Jeremy Errol is fantastic. Um, I wouldn't go anywhere else having trained here. Uh, I, I lucked into it, but I landed at a great spot. So, thanks guys. You know, of course, it goes without saying, uh, uh, Jeremy and Megan Errol for, for having the school and, and devoting their, themselves and their careers to providing a quality school. I mean, I when I was first started looking to get back in shape with martial arts, I went to a lot of different schools you know, the schools aren't as clean and as organized. Uh, they didn't have the curriculums. You know, uh, the instructors just kind of came on mats or on floors and, you know, they did their routines or whatever. I mean, it's a very structured um, uh, program and, that's, and that really helps. Uh, so I want to just uh, thank them. And then also just all the, all the students. I mean, a lot of people worked with me when I first started. I didn't know anything and I was in terrible shape. And people took their time and worked with me and were very uh, cooperative and, and, and really helped me. And, of course, just all those students, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, well, I guess Kathy for putting up with me and uh, with her support, I've been able to do this, you know, train at least three days a week, if not more. And um, definitely Professor Jeremy and Megan for this school and the environment that they kind of created here and every training partner that's ever choked the shit out of me <laughs> made me better for you know for now and in the future i definitely would want to thank my wife she's she's my number one supporter um adrian supports me in everything i do and without her i would be my only supporter so uh, she's really she's the person that drives me other than myself um, other than that, just my training partners, uh, Jeremy in general, um, also uh, one of my main instructors, uh, Brandon Quick out in Texas, he does a lot for me as well. So those people have been drastic, drastic uh, uh, 
improvements on my life and, and proponents of my jujitsu. Well, the uh, the guy who uh, brought me in, um, his name was Anthony Quartapella, and uh, thank him for uh, um, introducing me to this uh, this way of life. And uh, I want to thank Jeremy Arell for um, renewing my faith in this way of life and providing a clean, safe, respectful environment um, where I can learn and teach and help others. Yeah, well, first of all, I, I want to thank my family, uh, especially my wife. She's been very, very supportive. I spend a lot of time on the mats, and uh, she's been very supportive of me being here, you know, sweating it up with a bunch of guys. So, uh, for her, number one, she's always at the tournaments, always cheering me on, number one cheerleader. Uh, second, I want to I want to thank Professor Arell it's for giving this school uh, to me <laughs> and, and giving jujitsu to me. Uh, he's opened up a lot of possibilities for me as far as my game. Uh, and his coaching advice and his teaching advice I, I take very uh, seriously and I take it to heart. And then finally I want to thank the people I train with. Uh, I love the guys that train here, the, the men and the women that train here. Uh, wouldn't have it any other way. They're a really good group of people. We're all you know, really close, good friends as well. So uh, I want to thank them as well. For, for one and foremost, I'd like to thank Professor Arell. He's been a brother to me. He's been a friend to me. He's been a mentor to me. And, uh, the th he's not necessarily softy when it comes to teaching you things. Sometimes uh, tough love is the way he teaches and, and you have to understand it and think about it when, you, when, when things are, happen. And uh, definitely I thank him for giving me the opportunity to be part of this family. And, and it's important to me to be where I'm at and around good people, good training partners, good family. That's what I'd want to thank the most. Um, my wife. My children, um, they're very supportive. It takes a lot of time uh, being away from home and being uh, away from the kids and watching certain things that happen in their life. Um, that's, that's, that's why I'm very thankful to them for being so patient and, and being so supportive in, in what I love to do. Definitely would need to thank my original instructor, second degree black belt, Louis Togno. He was a great influence and you know, he got me into this sport and seven years later I'm still doing it so I would, I would have to thank him. I would have to thank my family because I tend to be away a lot because I'm here at the academy often so I would have to thank my family just for allowing me to do that and also just for Jeremy for having a great class, a great school atmosphere but also all of the training and rolling partners that I have had over the years. Each one of them has touched me and changed me and made me the person who, who I am and have, have helped me with my Jiu Jitsu game. And, I would have to thank every one of them, most definitely. There were a lot of people that were influential into my upbringing and then of course in my martial arts background. So uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my parents, uh, Colonel, First Sergeant, that really molded me as a person. And then uh, for martial arts, obviously my uncle, he got me into martial arts. Uh, William Johnson had a, a big impact on my uh, open mind for martial arts and building my love for martial arts. Uh, Louis Togno for putting up with me for uh, four years, four and a half years when I was not a very awesome student to have. And then obviously Gordo, uh, Gordo, amazing teacher, easy respect, took me under his wing and uh, allows me to run a school and, and have a fantastic student base that he is both behind me and my students. Oh, and I want to thank my students because they're awesome.